Howdy ho, folks. It's Kesmir, and I am back. Um, we just raided the train station, got a bunch of goodies. Um, what was his name? Abel, I think. Um, I noticed something. I don't know if you guys want to go back and watch the footage, but I was looking at those the two walkers that are tied up in the uh, that in the uh, entryway where they asked you to leave you alone, and the guy looks like he had two different colored eyes. And then when Abel showed up, I was looking at him, and I noticed that he also has two different colored eyes. And then they had a crib. So, God, that'd be a really weird long stretch. How would they have a kid and he'd be that old? I was just thinking that maybe he's related to the two dead people in the in the train station. But that doesn't that wouldn't seem right. There's no way that he'd be that old. I don't know. I was just trying to draw straws. I just noticed that it looked like he had two different colors. Unless he's maybe blinded an eye. But I thought the, the the dead guy that was tied up with his wife had two different colored eyes. But I don't know. I could be wrong. We'll see what happens here. I didn't want to be hostile towards him and I think no matter what he was going to take a bag. So I figured why not just be uh, you know diplomatic about it. Let's be... Because whenever I just... I guess not every time, but usually when I just go, oh, I don't care, let's just attack him, it usually doesn't end well. Um, I'm thinking all the way back to the beginning of uh, Season 3, where I probably shouldn't attack those guys, but I bet you it wouldn't have changed anything anyways. So, let's just jump back into it and see what happens next. Listening to me, Marlon, listen to me. I am telling you, the place was ransacked. It's fine. We'll deal with it. I think this has been an ongoing problem. Took y'all a while. How poor are they that have not patience? A Sim! Mitch! Check it out! Food! That's like a lot of food. Observant as ever, Mitch. I can't believe this. Look at it. You are a savior, Clem. Like, seriously, it's a lot. Lewis and Violet helped too. Neither of them ever brought back this much before. Neither have you. Where did you find all this? The old train station. Clem knew where it was. Train station? That's outside the safe zone. We'd have even more, but we ran into the creep that fucked up our rabbit traps. Creep? What creep? Clem saw him smoking those nasty-ass Bible cigarettes. He had weird, different colored eyes. Did he follow you? No, I let him have some food, and then we lost track of him in a swarm of walkers. You just let him take our food? What the fuck? Now he knows we're out here and he'll come back for more. What the hell were you thinking? This is fucked. How could you be so stupid? If I hadn't done what I did, he would have shot us. I made the right call. Bullshit! What if there are others? You don't know what people are capable of out there. Huh. Think again. I, I just... I can't. I won't. Just not again. Fuck! What the hell's going on here? She took them outside the safe zone. They saw someone. You know what that means! Enough! Just means there's a hungry guy out there looking for food. It's happened before. You are overreacting. You can't be serious! Come on, let's go somewhere and talk about this. If anything happens, I'm holding you responsible. Clem, I know I asked you for help. You did, you did, but shit. Nothing's easy. Sorry I went outside the safe zone. I didn't see any other option. Yeah, I know. It's just hard keeping this together. 
<laughs> well, at least we're eating tonight. For the next few, I'd wager. Um, I'll go talk to Brody. Thanks for the haul, Clem. You guys should go enjoy it. You've earned it. <coughs> Don't sweat it, Clem. Ever since we lost Sophie and Minnie, Brody's been freaked out by anything that happens past the safe zone. She'll be all right eventually. Still, we should make sure this is a one-time thing. We can take Rosie out in the morning, see if she catches a scent. You know, just in case. I'm gonna go clean up. I think I'll go too. See you later. Don't worry about them. They're just sad. Sad? Why? My sisters died around this time last year. I think it's starting to get to people. Doesn't it get to you? Not really. Dying's not scary. I mean, it's sad, but not scary. Being a walker is a lot worse than being dead. How do you know? Maybe being a walker is really nice. I doubt it. Me too. But it's not like you can go ask one. I try not to focus on them being gone. I like picturing where they'd be now, instead. Sophie was awesome at making stuff. She'd build a place big enough for all of us to live. And paint it too. And Minnie be playing whatever new song she wrote. I guess death doesn't scare me because I know I have something waiting on the other side. Someplace safe and happy. All of us together. Looks like a nice place to wind up. Yeah, I think so too. A lot better than some smelly old school. Who are those guys? The walkers who killed them. You want them there too? They weren't always walkers. Wherever this place is, everyone gets to be a person again. Sometimes I draw the walkers the way they probably looked. Sometimes I draw Minnie and Sophie the way they probably left them. But sometimes I draw this too. Can... can I be there? Sure. You want to be there, too? I promise I'll draw you well. Sure, why not? Oh, I almost forgot. Hey, here you go. It's yours. It's ours. Ten's got some real talent. It's getting late. Yeah, you guys should get some sleep. Aren't you coming? Not yet. I want to finish this first. Good night. See you tomorrow. stay up? Nope. Hmm? Two more minutes. Tell you what, you lay down and then we'll see. You full from dinner? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was. I like it here. I got to kill fish. Violet looked like she was having a good time. It's nice, not driving everywhere or running away. But the ranch was nice, too, before the blood. This isn't the ranch. 
Yeah, we're gonna know. We're gonna learn more about the ranch. Do you like it? I like it. Now that I'm used to it. There's games and the walls make it feel safe. It's good for now, but places change. And so do people. It might not stay good. Don't worry, we're not leaving. Clem. Yeah? You let that mean man go at the station. You let him take food from us. It wasn't right. I didn't like it. Don't be mad at me for saying that, though. No, say what you want to say, AJ. If we let people take from us, it makes us soft. So you're so tough, huh? <laughs> Who's Mr. Softy now? <laughs> That's what I thought. There, you gotta stay up two minutes more. Time for sleep. I'll lay down when you blow out the light. All right, give me a minute. Can we decorate now? Yes! So used to lugging this everywhere. Never knowing when we'd find any supplies. I feel a lot lighter. We gotta put that picture up. There. That's a good drawing. He's a good artist. Your picture is good, too. Oh, I know. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> it's like gotten in the dead walkers. I didn't look at it that close last time. There. You have to water flowers. Not these. They're fake. So they never die? Never. Well, lucky flowers. But they're not as pretty. Those don't look like the other ones. Because these are real flowers. The kind that need water? Bingo. Make sure to give them some. I know. Don't forget. I won't. Good. I don't want them to die. Got that skull. Where can we put the skull? Or do we get a car down the road and we can put the skull on it? Hmm. Is there an inventory? I think that's it. I'm not sleepy. <laughs> Liar. Hmm. I guess we'll blow out the candle and call it a night. Good night, sleep tight, don't let a walker bite. And if they try, I never let them bite. Come on, play it right. One time, bang. <laughs> Good work, and thanks. Alright guys, we're going to end this episode here, so like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Kesmir out.